Jay, thank you for that. A big loss for the Valley. In news out of the North Valley, the man accused of killing a Newman police officer appeared in court for the very first time today. 32-year-old Gustavo Arriaga did not enter a plea. A judge will now determine if he is legally competent to stand trial. We also learned that Arriaga's true legal name is Paulo Virgin Mendoza. CBS 47's Connie Tran joins us live in the studio. So, Connie, what's next? Ken Mendoza will next appear in court on February 7th. This will allow time for a doctor to come up with a report to determine whether Mendoza is mentally competent to stand trial. A peaceful rally of people who support the blue line crowded the area around the Stanislaus County Superior Courthouse in Modesto on Wednesday. You're not in this alone. We're here. We're supporting you. We back you. And you can do this. As 32 year old Paolo Virgin Mendoza faced a judge for allegedly shooting and killing Newman Police Corporal Roniel Singh. Mendoza did not enter a plea. His attorney says the Mexican national is incompetent to stand trial. Legal analyst David Mugridge. It's not unusual at all. I've had on, on more than one occasion, I've been in a, a jail cell with, with clients and, and they've said or, dirt, uh, or done certain things that make me think that, you know what? I better find out whether or not they're competent. Mendoza's murder charge carries a special circumstance because Singh was a police officer, which makes Mendoza eligible for the death penalty. The district attorney's office has not said yet if they are seeking death. Killing a police officer uh, is it's very common. In fact, it would be unusual for them not to seek the death penalty uh, in the case of a police officer. Authorities say Mendoza was in the country illegally and had previous arrests for driving under the influence of alcohol. Mendoza is one of eight people facing charges in the case, but the Stanislaus County Sheriff said Mendoza is believed to be the only suspected shooter. In the studio, Connie Tran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Connie.